Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Except it's pouring with rain, so it's not very much a Sunshine Coast for sure. Um, my dogs are still having fun in the rain and the mud and it's a nightmare, but what do you do? You get in your art room and um, create art and cheer yourself up. So today I have this 40 by 40 canvas um, and what I'm using there is just that little bowl as a template and I'm using an acrylic pen so it's just acrylic paint pen so it will absorb into the rest of the paint when I um, lay my paint out. It's just to give me a little bit of a guide where I want my centerpiece. Um, I mean it will get lost in all the colours that I put down but it's just giving me a bit of a guide. So at first I'm just putting that white in the centre and just giving it a spread around as my um, starting point and I'm going to go and chew those dogs away, they're very naughty. Okay, dog sorted, <laughs> well for two seconds anyway. Um, so yes, as I said, I'm just um, doing my base coat in readiness for my um, colours coming next. see I've put that beautiful really bright it's kind of like a bright red orange um, and I'm gonna lay down some lovely bright colors I just feel like I need something bright and uplifting so what better than um, doing a starburst pour and um, so I did put down that green is called Viridian green and then the other is just a, a bright yellow cool yellow and I will layer the colours in the kind of starburst effect. And yeah, see you go from there. Currently laying down some lovely bright orange and um, I'm just using the last that's in the cup so I'm trying to get all this paint finished on this particular piece now this is a fluoro pink so this will really you know pop in that piece it's really gonna um, make a really nice statement in there I believe
now for the um, phalo blue, so or a cool blue. So putting that in as a contrast against all of those bright colours. But just the actual process of laying the paints and going through it nice and calmly and relaxing in your own little, um, whether, whatever space you've got, whether you're working in a cupboard, a shed, a room, your kitchen or your laundry, it is just a really nice relaxing time. So just enjoy the process, as I say. Don't worry, it is only paint, so don't stress over it in your art room, your rules, your way. Just take it nice and easy and relax. Just giving it a whiz over with my heat gun to kind of burst any bubbles in there and now I will um, grab my little hair dryer. Everybody asks me where I get this hair dryer. It is called a Baby Bayless and I believe it was a child's hair dryer. I picked this particular one up out of a charity shop but you can use any hair dryer really. You just have to adjust the nozzle um, I just put a bit of the masking tape over the nozzle to make it so there's only a very thin air uh, flow coming through there and of course you can't keep it on too long because you're restricting that otherwise it will overheat. But as you see I'm becoming, it's becoming an absolute starburst of carnival of colours enough to cheer my rainy wet miserable day up. just finishing up my sides of this wonderful starburst um, and I just make sure all my sides are covered in the paint so you just finger pop the edges and Bob's your uncle and what I am doing here is just a few tiny balloon embellishments so dipping your balloon or kissing your balloon into probably the thicker parts of the paint and then using that to embellish the center and just create some nice light whimsical effects in there of fairies, flyer, flyer flies, flyer flies, fireflies and butterflies. <laughs> Crazy lady. So yeah, very therapeutic. I recommend it, give it a go.
So there you go, I'm very happy with it. Really lovely starburst. It's just so bright, cheery and uplifting. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care. Get in your art room, do something creative. If you're lucky enough to be able to get into the garden, you can do that too. So until tomorrow, bye for now.